Creating a scrolling website mockup is an awesome way to show off a website design. Let me show you how to do it. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a scrolling website mockup that you can use in your marketing, on social media, to showcase your website designs, basically wherever you see fit. So let's just get into it. So first things first is you gotta head over to Canva. Okay, so canva.com. I'm pretty sure everything that I run through in this tutorial, you're gonna be able to do with a free Canva account. I have a Canva Pro account, but I don't think that there's gonna be anything that I do that you're gonna need the Pro version. So basically when you head over to Canva, you're gonna come up here and choose create a design. And then you have to choose the size of the design that you want. So just for this tutorial, I'm just just gonna stick to the basics and just do an Instagram post, so a square. You might choose a different design size depending on where you're gonna be using this mock-up, but for this one, we're just gonna stick with this. So you're gonna be taken to a blank, basically a, a blank piece of paper here, okay? So there's two different ways to go ahead and to create this. The first way is you can go over to elements and then you can type in laptop frame and you can choose from these laptop frames and they literally make it super simple. So click whichever one you want and then you can drag and make it fit the size of your design. Make sure it's in the middle and then you can choose the color of the laptop. You can go ahead and mess around with this if you want it branded, if you want it black, if you want it, you know, basically however you want it. You can also change the background here. So if you want the background to be branded or maybe you want the background to stay white so that the actual website design kind of pops off, totally up to you, okay? So this is one way to do it. The other way to do it, we're gonna add a page and we're going to actually look for a photo that has the laptop in here. Okay, so like one of these basically. So I'm just gonna click on this and make it as big as the Instagram thing here. So you'll notice obviously it doesn't look too great because I'm trying to fit this horizontal photo into a square box, okay? So not ideal, but just know that I am doing this because I'm trying to show you how to do it, okay? So, so we can go ahead and we can choose this one. If we wanted a desktop version, we can swap this out and do a desktop frame. We can do an iPhone frame, an iPad frame, literally whatever you want. Canva has a whole bunch of them, okay? so. After you have this, notice that it's not this like picture thing in this one. So in order to drop our video file in here and have it start scrolling, we have to actually add this photo thing. Okay, so head back over to elements. Usually it's on the front page here. Yep, so we can just click grids and drag it over. Sometimes it does that, we don't want it to do that. So you can just resize it. And basically you're just gonna wanna like fit it so it covers the white rectangle there. Okay, so I think that's good. Sometimes when you're doing it this way, instead of just like the straight up laptop, like mock-up built in with Canva, sometimes this way when you're putting the actual image like layered on top of a mock-up. Sometimes it doesn't fit just right. To me, that's not make or break, but it is what it is. So if you're doing it this way, I do recommend clicking on the background image and clicking this lock here. So we lock the background in so it doesn't move anywhere when you're like dragging and dropping your video file in here. If you're not seeing any actual like mock-up photos that you like and you really want to do it this way, I also just noticed that like most of them seem to be only available for Canva Pro. So there's kind of like a workaround with that, okay? So you can go to a stock photography website and find your own like desktop mock-up pictures. So like, this is just an example, unsplash.com, they have literally a desktop mock-up. Just note 
that like you're going to want to check the commercial license of these photos if you are using them for business or like personal or, you know, just look at the license before you go ahead and like get any photo off of the internet. There is also uh, a friend of mine runs Styled Stock Society and she has a whole collection for tech mockups. So if you wanted to become a member of the Styled Stock society, then I can leave a link to that in the video description below. But honestly, if you just want to find desktop mockups or like iPhone, laptop, whatever you want, find it off of Canva and then drag and drop it into your uploads folder, you can totally do that too. So there's definitely different ways to kind of get around this if you don't get access to specific mockups because you don't have Canva Pro. But once you're feeling good to go on either one of these options, then we have to go into phase two of this tutorial, which is actually recording the website that you're trying to create a scrolling mockup of. For this tutorial specifically, I'm creating the mockups of like a laptop desktop version. So that means that I have to record a video of the desktop laptop version, okay? So if you are doing or you wanna create like a scrolling mockup for the mobile version, then you actually have to go on your phone, view the website, and then use whatever software comes with your phone to screen record the website on your phone. And then you can airdrop it to your computer and then drop it into Canva or however you wanna get it there. I just wanted to make a note because I feel like there would be some questions about like doing an iPhone screen recording that way. So when it comes to recording the website, basically there's a few different options here. My favorite way to do it is Loom, okay? So literally you can just go to Google and type in Loom, uh, Google extension, Chrome extension, whatever you need, and then download this Loom extension here, it makes recording the video and like screen share or like screen recorder super easy. The other way to do it is I think it's called, yeah, QuickTime Player. I think that you can record your screen using QuickTime Player. You can probably also do this on Zoom. If you have Zoom and then you share your screen in a meeting and only share the tab that you want to record. So you can get a little creative with this, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it with Loom using the, the Google Chrome extension here. So basically when you've installed Loom on your Google Chrome, you can click the cute little Loom icon here and then it will allow you to, let me get my face out of there. <laughs> it will allow you to either record your full desktop, you can record a current tab, you can have your webcam, you can have your, your mic. Honestly, since we're just needing like a basic video of this website. You don't need any of these things set up. Just make sure that the control menu is turned off and the show recording time is also turned off because otherwise it's gonna add those things into the screen here and it's kind of gonna take away from the website itself, okay? So basically what you would do is current tab and then choose, we're only gonna do screen only current tab, and then we're gonna click start recording. So now it is recording literally just this tab that I'm on, so I'm just gonna scroll on the website slowly. And then just hit that loom icon in the screen again to stop the recording. It's going to pop open your screen grab in a new tab here, so you can go ahead and you can play it. We don't wanna do that, but basically you can go ahead and play it and just make sure that it looks good. You can obviously come back to Loom, you can re-record it, you can do it slower, you can do it faster, you can do it however you want. But basically what we want to do after we're doing this is we want to download the video file from Loom because we have to then upload it to Canva. So you might have to wait a few minutes because Loom actually has to have the video all set up for you to download it. You can trim if, I don't know, if you were hanging out on this front section too long, uh, you can trim the video down if you want to. So sometimes if you still click this dot here and it's not allowing you to download, what you can do is refresh the page and then it should, since it's not like a super long video, it shouldn't take too long to then allow you to download it. So then we have to download this video, and then we're gonna drag it and drop it and upload it right into Canva. 
Once the video is uploaded to Canva, then you can just go ahead and drag and drop it into your mock-up, okay? So then you'll notice that it is automatically scrolling here, which is pretty great. So we can do it for both of these, just so you can see how it looks. Now, you might notice that like the screen here, it's not fitting so much, like, and it's, it's kind of cutting it off at the top. Here, let's see. And like cutting it off at the side. So if I wanted to get really specific and I wasn't happy with kind of how that looked, what I would do is change the size of my browser window. So maybe I should make it shorter or longer or whatever so that it fits this ratio a little bit better. It might take some testing and tweaking, but that's essentially it. You would do the exact same thing. Go to Loom, re-record it, save, download the file, upload it to Canva and check it there. That's probably gonna be the easiest way for you to figure it out. Or you can go to Google and literally Google like the ratio size of a laptop mock-up. Honestly, totally up to you how you wanna problem solve that. But basically, after this is all good to go, we have to export it from Canva. So we click share in the corner here and we have a couple different options. So we can either export it as a video or we can export it as a GIF, okay? So that is totally up to you. The GIF is a short clip, no sound, which works perfectly because well, we don't really need sound on this, okay? So that's totally up to you. It also depends on like, like I said, where you're going to be using this scrolling mock-up. So if we just, for this one, we'll just export it as a GIF. We'll only choose that one and download it. And then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, I've downloaded the GIF from Canva to my computer and you can see that it works pretty well. So that is all good to go there. Honestly, I think if you're going to be downloading and using this for Instagram specifically, I think you might have to download it as an actual video file. Just make sure that you turn the sound of the video off if you have a mic set up and you weren't able to keep it kind of silent as you're scrolling, I've made that mistake before, so I just wanted to make a note there. But yeah, the file type that you download, like I said, is going to be dependent on what you're actually using this scrolling mock-up for. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. And if you're finding these Canva tutorials helpful, definitely leave me a comment below and let me know so that I can create more of them for you. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video.